ready to know the best way to die in Naples. Ciao dear Sicily lovers and welcome to Napoli! Behind us, a very famous shape of a volcano. One of the most famous volcanoes in the world, Mount Vesuvio. We are in Naples, Napoli, in the south of Italy. <laughs> so this time we are not in Sicily, we are enjoying one of our uh, most beloved towns in the world. As soon as I came here in Naples, it was love at first sight. Beautiful people, beautiful landscapes, uh, beautiful highlights to see, but first of all, the food, the manja manja! <laughs> <laughs> we will let you know what you can uh, eat in Naples in 24 hours. Yes. As you know, we are Sicilians, we are not locals here in Naples. Uh, we are only passionate about Naples, so uh, don't expect uh, a walking guided tour of Naples. Uh, we will show you the best Napolitan food and in the meantime you will see uh, some of the most uh, beautiful uh, Napolitan highlights. Are you ready to, to follow us? Let's go! This is the beautiful uh, Piazza del Plebiscito, one of the most beautiful squares in Italy. The Royal Palace behind me. This is one of the largest and most elegant squares in Naples. And uh, we also have the beautiful church of San Francesco di Paola, St. Francis. Naples and Sicily have many things in common. Gianca, would you like to say, to explain to our friends why we used to say Il Regno delle Due Sicilie? Oh, that's a good question. The Regno delle Due Sicilie in English means uh, the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. This is one of the most ancient uh, kingdoms in Italy. Uh, during the 1700, 1800, uh, till the unification of Italy, uh, Sicily and uh, the region of Naples, Apulia, Calabria, all the south Italy uh, belong to uh, the same kingdom. And uh, Sicily and Naples have the same old heritage, the same history. Uh, like Sicily, also Naples have been conquered by the ancient Greeks, the ancient Romans, uh, the Spaniards. Uh, we have the same, uh, more or less the same heritage, we, we have more or less the same language. Naples is very rich, it's a melting pot. A melting pot of culture, uh, ancient traditions and of course delicious food. Because I have to say, I have to underline that, like Sicily, also the Napolitan cuisine reflects the, the richness of uh, its uh, uh, heritage, of its uh, dominations. So, Piazza del Plebiscito is considered the, the heart of the monumental area. And now we are moving to the historical area, to the old town, to have a breakfast.
and now we are ready to enjoy our breakfast. Uh, we are in the, one of the most beautiful uh, streets in the old town. Uh, it's named uh, Via dei Tribunali and this street is full of beautiful places where you can enjoy the most traditional uh, Napolitan food. Uh, what we are going to enjoy, Rosella? Sfogliatelle, a sfogliatella riccia e a frolla. So, we have two kind, two different kind of sfogliatella. Sfogliatella is a pastry, uh, a sweet, no, it's, it's more correct pastry. And uh, let's see, I don't want to spoil it. Because there is a cream inside. Mm. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I'm enjoying a variation of the classic espresso coffee with the pistachio cream, mm, so tasty! As you know, espresso is a must in Italy and in Naples, of course. I don't have any, any sugar because I want to I wanna feel the essence of coffee. Very strong. Excellent.
and now it's time to enjoy the best food in Naples. I'm with Gennaro at Pizzeria dal Presidente. Mm, I can wait to test a lot of delicious food. Gennaro, che cosa mi devo mangiare oggi? Qua sicuramente devi mangiare la pizza fritta. So, fried pizza. Che è quella tipica con ricotta, provola, cicoli e pomodoro. So the traditional one is based on ricotta cheese, provola cheese and uh, uh, cicoli. Cicoli is uh, the pork meat sì, okay. e, poi, e pomodoro. And tomato sauce of course. And then? E poi ci sono frittatine di pasta, crocchette che è street food napoletano. Then of course we also have the street food here, we have the croquette potatoes and also the fried um, pasta, it's like an omelette of pasta. And what else? Cos'altro Gennaro? E qui c'è la famosissima pizza a portafoglio. Wow! Che è tipica dello street food napoletano sempre. So if we have to translate, we can translate like the wallet pizza because they fold in four uh, pieces and that's why you can bring with you and eat on the street, that's why it's a street food. Gennaro, eh, da quando siete aperti? Because I read here uh, the um, historical, uh, historical place. Quando avete aperto? Qua abbiamo aperto in un'altra sede 80 anni fa. Poi so, qua ci siamo spostati 30 anni fa. So they open 80 years ago and now they are here in the, one of the most beautiful uh, street in uh, Naples uh, for 30 uh, years. Questa poi, questa è la strada più buona del mondo, perché qua ci sono tutte le migliori pizzerie del mondo. This is the tastiest uh, street in Naples, because here you can find the best, the best food in the world, we can say, nel mondo. Nel mondo sì. So I'm too lucky today to be with Gennaro. Gennaro is also the patron saint of Naples, so he's the perfect man to represent Naples. Vieni, ti faccio la pizza. Andiamo, va! Questa è la tipica pizza fritta napoletana, come puoi vedere stendiamo un disco di pasta da 280 grammi. Poi andiamo a mettere sulla base ricotta. Cicoli napoletani che è maiale pressato e cotto, quindi è sgrassato. Provola delle, delle nostre zone. Perché la pizza napoletana è un prodotto a chilometri zero, quindi praticamente sono tutti i prodotti della nostra terra. Con pepe, un po' di basilico. E adesso facciamo vedere. It's my pizza! Questa è la migliore di Napoli. Eccola qua, questa è per te. Oh, it's too big for me, it's bigger than me. Look at this. Mamma mia.
bocchetta napoletana. Forza Napoli! 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 Forza Napoli! Forza Napoli! Forza Napoli! behind me is named Spaccanapoli. Spaccanapoli means uh, cat uh, Naples and uh, it divides uh, Naples into the east part and the west part and it's a beautiful uh, street and just here there is another must see location here in Naples uh, via San Gregorio Armeno famous for the most beautiful uh, nativity scenes uh, in the world, you can find a lot of artisans that made uh, nativity uh, scenes and everything is completely handmade. It's really a treasure. As I told you, uh, there are many things that Sicilian people have in common with the Napolitan people. One of these is the superstition. Napolitan people are very, very superstitious and they, they used to uh, bring with them uh, the horn from the uh, red hot chili pepper and uh, if you are uh, not lucky, if you need some fortune, you can bring with you something like that or something like that but if you need more fortune maybe you better buy something like that
Maybe you're wondering on the number of people that are strolling now, but this is Christmas time, so it's absolutely uh, normal. Via Toledo is the right place to spend all your money, the shopping area. Now I would like to show our friends something really special. Have you ever heard of the Quartieri Spagnoli, the Spanish quarters? This is the most authentic area of Naples. So are you ready? This is a, a strong experience. Follow us. We are in a traditional trattoria, traditional restaurant, to enjoy maybe the, the masterpiece of the Napolitan cuisine. Pasta with potatoes. A pasta con le patate. And provola cheese. And provola cheese. Mmm, <laughs> so tasty, so creamy. And now, maybe the most famous pastries in the world, a pastiera. Pastiera is really popular and also really, really simple. It consists only a few ingredients. We have wheat, uh, we have ricotta cheese, and finally we have the short crust pastry. Rosella, this is for you. <laughs> We are in the art of the Spanish Quarter here in Naples uh, at a beautiful trattoria named Apignata that uh, uh, in Sicilian and in Napolitan dialect means the pot. Apignata, the pot. And now it's time to enjoy pastiera. If you love soccer, this is your place. The god of soccer is behind me. Or maybe you love bingo. 
and you don't know that Bingo Tombola in Napolitan was born in Naples. For Gianca, for Gianca, nothing. And now it's time to enjoy Papa. Another masterpiece in the Napolitan uh, cuisine. This is my favorite uh, sweet, my favorite uh, pastry. You should say to our friends that you are very addicted to Baba. How many Baba? Can you eat the Janka? No limits. <laughs> and I decide to take this one with the, the cream. Look at this. It's really a masterpiece. And uh, this is traditional one. Mm. Why is wet Janka? Look at this. Because they add what? Run! Ah. <laughs> so it's very alcoholic uh, pastry. Hmm. But you also can have in the morning. Every time is a good time. Rosella, what are you drinking? Mm, it's time to enjoy coffee with hazelnut flavor. Look at this. Mm. I'm addicted to coffee. It's the third coffee of my day. <laughs> what is your baba, Janka? <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Where we are, Janka? This is a beautiful square. Mm. I show you. This is one of the most beautiful squares in Naples. San Domenico Maggiore. Uh, the name comes from the church of San Domenico, San Dominic. This is the church. But the main feature of the, of the square is the beautiful column dedicated to San Dominic. It's a special place where you can enjoy one of the best coffees in town.
pegambinos. Per me. Tra le sue ore. Già di terrazzo. Welcome to the most elegant place here in Naples. I try to speak very, very softly. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. This is a very elegant cafe. The most ancient uh, cafe in town, the Gambrinus. Uh, a lot of important people uh, attended this cafe during its history. So, the it cafe, was born? Yes, in uh, 1860. So, more than uh, 160 years old. And uh, people like Ernest Hemingway, like Oscar Wilde, like Sigmund Freud uh, used to have a uh, cafe here in, uh, in Gambrinus, at Gambrinus. So we are very, very, very lucky to yeah. be here. Also Rosella and Gianca. Also Rosella and Gianca. <laughs> and this is also the place where one of the most ancient traditions uh, was born. The tradition of the cafe Sospeso. Gianca, would you like to say something about this beautiful tradition? Yeah, it's very, very special. It means you, uh, you pay a coffee for someone who don't know, a stranger. So uh, the, the next uh, person who come here uh, has a free coffee because you offered a coffee uh, for free. It's That's, a beautiful gift of love. Yes, yes. <laughs> And uh, what are you having, Rosella? I'm having coffee because, as you know, Naples is very famous for the coffee tradition. And uh, uh, they used to say, U caffè sulla Napoli sanno fa. That means only in Naples you can enjoy the best coffee. Only here in Naples they can uh, make the coffee. But it's not a, a classic oh, coffee, you know? not a, an espresso. Uh, uh, because I would like to all, always to add something in the coffee. So so I added the white cream panna. Panna and coffee is one of the best things to try here in Naples and also a small biscuit. And I have corretto, caffè corretto means uh, coffee and liquor. It happens uh, usually during the winter time when it's cold outside. So I'm trying to uh, feel a little bit better. <laughs> What did you add? I added uh, rum. As always. Not only in mojito, not only in the baba, also in the coffee. You are very addicted to I'm, rum. I'm having a lot of rum uh, here in Naples because you know baba is full of rum and uh, I feel very comfortable. <laughs> Salute! Finally, it's time to enjoy our supper. We decided to, to visit one of the best restaurants in, in Naples, also one of the uh, most ancient. Uh, it boasts uh, 100 years of heritage. It's named Umberto. And uh, I, I decided to have uh, the traditional pizza. 
e Rossella. One of the most uh, famous uh, traditional pasta dishes, named pasta alla genovese. It's a kind of ragu uh, based on uh, two, a mix <laughs> of two kind of meat, uh, pork and beef, and a lot of onion. And they cook for uh, many hours, at least three, four hours, to uh, get uh, a tender uh, meat. Yes. The more you cook, the, the tender is the meat. Look at this. The final result. And I'm sorry that you can uh, <laughs> smell it. And it should be very al dente. Al dente, sure. And let me say something about the traditional Napolitan pizza. Uh, there, there are two features. Uh, a very soft and uh, high edge and a very tender dough. This is the feature. And I, I choose the, let me say, one of the most uh, traditional flavors. Diavola, it's a very spicy uh, pizza with the uh, very spicy sausage, tomato sauce and provola cheese and of course some basil leaves. Buon appetito! Buon appetito! Now it's uh, it's up to to try three different kind of meatballs. So we have the the dark, the the white, and the middle one. Rosella, could you explain me please the difference between those three different meatballs? So we have the fried version. Then we have the this is the fried version. Yes. Yeah? Then we have al sugo. So, the sauce version and al vapore the steamy steamy version and, and what about this friarelli friarelli is a kind of wild uh, vegetables and uh, they used to pair with uh, the meat balls or with the sausage very good and uh, the meat is beef. Just All, beef. Only, only beef. Buon appetito. <laughs> It's off to, to toast, or I better say it's, uh, it's time to uh, drink something really strong to digest all the food we had today. We are really full and we need something really strong. What are you drinking, Rosella? Limoncello! Limoncello is one of the most famous uh, liquors here in uh, Naples. In Italy, but in Naples in particular because they they use the, the special lemon from the area of Sorrento. That's a very very delicious lemon. And I am drinking grappa. Grappa is an Italian liquor, very very popular 
uh, it's the best when you have to digest. Salute! Cheers, salute! And uh, we have to drink. Let me tell you something special. It happens in, uh, in Naples, as in Sicily, as in the rest of Italy. People are allowed to drink outside. So, not necessary in the, in the clubs, in the bars, inside, also outside. As you can see, there are a lot of people behind us that are enjoying their drink. And we are free to walk uh, by the street. No limits. Come to Italy to enjoy the nightlife. <laughs> Salute. Mm. Another toast to our dear friends. So, from Naples, it's all. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, Please, let me... thumbing up and share this video with all your friends. So, once again, uh, this is not a guide of Naples. It was just like a food tour. Uh, we miss many highlights. Naples offers a lot of beautiful uh, monuments, historical sites, uh, beautiful uh, uh, buildings, uh, churches. We, we just showed you uh, just a bit, just the tip of the iceberg, uh, just to, to let you know some of the best uh, uh, Napolitan food. Yeah, and uh, it deserves some days, uh, at least uh, three days uh, yes. to enjoy uh, Naples to the fullest. And if you, if you want to enjoy the uh, Amalfi Coast, please consider at least one week. Yeah. And if you want to combine Sicily with, uh, with Naples, feel free to contact us and we will recommend you one of the best uh, uh, English-speaking local guide here in Naples. Visit our website bestthingsodoinsicily.com Exactly. And now it's time to say what? Love, Love acts and kisses, kisses from, from Naples. Naples. From two Sicily lovers. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Salute. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>